and then you make it another one. And it just kind of amped it up, you know, and it kept getting a little more embellished and a little bigger production, a little more complex. And then I made one that I thought was going to bury him. And that was the Todd Habercorn action figure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was the best ever. ever. And, but he made another one. And so I'm like, man, you just don't know when to let it go, do you? Why? So I decided that I was going to make the most epic thing ever. So I basically made Todd of the Rings. <laughs> Even the name is epic, right? And uh, the story of Todd of the Rings was I played Frodo. <laughs> and uh, the story was that Frodo uh, had this action figure, the top action figure. I spray painted it gold. And he was hanging around my neck. <laughs> and the goal was I had to take him to Mount Doom and throw him in so that the power of the top could be destroyed forever. <laughs> but I mean, you guys, production, am I wrong? Production value, like, off the charts. Like, it was, like, epic. Um, I, I got all these great costumes of all the different uh, uh, fellowship, of all the characters. We went out and shot this thing all over the place. I even did a convention in New Zealand, and I took my Frodo costume and took a shot of me walking down the path in the Hobbiton in New Zealand, the one they shot the original uh, film and cut it into the thing. But I mean, special effects like Gollum holding the Todd action figure in his hands <laughs> and I mean, that kind of thing. It was, it was quite epic. And uh, Todd tried to do something after that, which failed. Yeah, now that failed miserably compared to, uh, compared to Todd and Rings. 